gesture, everything that you do, she is emboldened but to break free from her chains. She's had enough of this 43-year waking nightmare. Our sisters and brothers are out there on the streets, risking everything for a free Iran. They have already freed her. I get videos and pictures from inside every day, women walking free, their hair blowing in the wind. A sister I've never known messaged me and said, you don't know how good the city air feels when you're not wearing your hijab. You have no idea. I can't wait for you to come home and feel it. She's right. While my hair flows free here today, I have no idea what it feels like to flow free at home. Iran. Like millions of others, my entire existence was forged by this regime. I was born into a refugee camp, and now I live in exile. Our story in the diaspora is an Iranian story. This is a regime that declares not just war on its people, but a war on life, a war on joy. Its identity is pure misogyny, domination, force, racism, condescension, and violence. Iran will no longer have her identity, her culture, her art and beauty, her history, her future, washed away by thugs. Iran is reclaiming life, and Iran's children will set her free. The Islamic Republic has tried to indoctrinate us with hate towards our Kurdish, Baluchi, Turkmen, Noor, Baha'i, Arab. but it's only driven us deeper and deeper towards love and unity. Unity, not just with our people in Iran, but our sisters and brothers in Ukraine, in Burma, in Syria, in Adel, Afghanistan, to fight oppressive forces! We go on separate struggles. They are directly linked. What we're witnessing here today is not only redefining the course of Iran's future, but rattling dictatorships around the globe. The more we band together to rip this parasite that sucks the lifeblood from Iran's heart, the more we disempower all repressive regimes worldwide. This uprising can shake and break the global system. This pandemic of patriarchy. Today in Iran, we're learning a new kind of courage, a new kind of fearlessness and selflessness, one that we couldn't imagine before. These young girls and boys, women and men, are risking their lives to reclaim Iran, to free her from her shackles of 43 years. My mother said to me just the other day, Meaning, I didn't know this new generation before, but they know my generation very well. That Shahada Iran have the revolutionary blood of their grandparents, and they carry the trauma of their parents. They've known nothing but oppression since they entered this world, and they do not want to reform this regime to make it better or fix it. They want the Islamic Republic out!
show us that we rise as one, that we can build new worlds rooted in equality, interdependence, and love. This fight might take a while. You might think, I don't know how much more of this my heart can take. Remember, the same way that people in Iran draw courage from our solidarity, we can draw far more from their courage and superhuman strength. Because there's no turning back. They're out there fighting every day to find batons and bullets, prisons and death. The least we can do is show up to them. We can sign petitions, we can call our representatives, we can create art with their slogans, post them on social media, we can march in the streets in solidarity and fill those streets with the roars of their chants. This regime wants to fool people into thinking we're alone. I cannot fucking wait for them to see us here today.
to our countries. But it, it's in our Yemen language for the local media. Please bear with us. Thank you. I'm standing 
here today with a representative from Ukraine, representative of Kiev's council who came here to support her. And I will give her a word. Please welcome. today. Our victory is your victory. Your victory is our victory. We share common, we will share common victory. And I do believe that people